Alright guys, so, as you can tell, we're going to be showing you guys little, uh, like, spots to jump, little cool, neat little spots. So this first spot here, you get on top of Eskies, and you need hover. Uh, overclock isn't necessary, but you need hover, 100% need hover, and you need overcharge on your hover. So, what you want to do is you want to back all the way up, you want to run, slide, dash, use your hover, and then you're golden. You can get on there so easy. You usually get on there first try. If you sit up here with a sniper, it's almost deadly. You can see pretty much everything, um, you know. Yeah, it's, it's a good spot to watch flank, and um, just a really great all-around spot. So, for this next spot here, you can just jump through this little window, and then break that glass, and you can sit there with a sniper, you can sit there with a the melee. That's my favorite class to use. Uh, don't run any attachments on my ASM1, just run, you know, quick draw, thermal, and uh, 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 advanced rifling on my melee with lightweight, fast hands, top hand spot suppressor, and that's all, and we're good class is really good um for watching flank you can sit there like perfectly so for this next little spot this is another like wa flank watching spot uh that's what i usually do i usually sit back and watch flank i usually use an ar or i use a sniper or i use uh, a melee overkill <laughs> so um this is like a little good spot nobody really checks it so it's like kind of underrated um as long as you don't break the glass you're good if you just like jump up there and like play a little bit like more like passive then you're fine nobody really checks up there unless they go top eskies so unless they go top eskies which you will obviously hear that you're pretty much fine and like also to this spot you can watch flank behind there uh you can literally sit behind this box and it's like almost perfect um for another spot kind of bit known uh you can jump on top of these two little light posts here watch use a sniper it's kind of known though a lot of people do it uh but, you know, still a nice little spot there. Uh, you're kind of vulnerable to your side. So, uh, you, 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 like, this next spot you need, you know, uh, hovering in or overclock and hover. So, um, you just, you need overcharged hover. You just hover into the spot. You know, you slide, jump, dash, hover, and you're good. And you can get on top of this one. You get on top of those ones. You can, you don't even need to jump from the blue. You can just jump from here. But that takes way too much time. And, you know, ain't nobody got time for that fucking throwback to like four years ago. So, <clears throat> for this next little spot, you can literally like break this glass and you can get on outside of this glass. So, you know, you don't really want to break the glass, but what I've seen is like a lot of people use this. So, you gotta like, just like how you jump up there, you gotta like, you know, not push, not dash forward, but just jump and, you know, a little move like slightly forward. It's a bit risky, you know, if you're, if you don't got the nice movement, then you could fuck up, but. A lot of people don't check it, maybe, like, not a lot of people will see you through the glass, unless, you know, obviously they're fuckboys, but, um, next little spot, you can, like, ooh, literally pretty much, like, sound her bomb, so you can, this is Aqua spot he uses a COD champ, so, he sat there, and you can view your eyes, you're pretty much golden, like, unless they come from blue, which you should be having a teammate at B, you're good, and then this next little spot here, jump down, you could watch it through those little things, if you don't shoot them like I did, but you can watch it through the little glass, like a window slit, you can pretty much view the whole entire bomb, this next spot here, you can jump up there, and um, it works if you turn your auto off, but it also works if you, like, you know, you don't have to turn your auto off, uh, I didn't have it off for that, so, you kind of just gotta, like, get it perfect, it's a really good spot, you can sound hold, nobody really checks it, and you can kind of watch a little bit of front blue. As you can see, just like slowly back up and then crouch and you're in the spot. Easy peasy. Lemon motherfucking squeezy. Alright. This next spot here, you can literally sit on top of these uh this green tracks, like back up against blue, and you can view like almost like the whole like far left of the bomb. So you see that? You could see them cross the bomb, you could probably see them on it. Um I don't know if you can sound horror from it, but I think you can, so yeah. Alright, so for this like next spot here, you can just sit there, watch the cross to Biolab, and watch the cross to Supply Room, and see it in Sound Horror if they jump up top purple. Um, it's a really good crossing spot, I go there off the break all the time if I go B. Uh, this spot's really nice too, you can back up right behind this mountain, and they pretty much won't see you. It's a bit overknown, a lot of people use this spot, but you can watch your, you know, your green, and uh, yeah, you can see bomb. So this next spot here, you have to have cold blooded for this, you, you just like literally position yourself perfectly in these bushes, lay down, and if you have cold blooded, you're literally like gold, and like, a lot of people don't check the spot. It's really good, you can sound horror bomb, you can hear them supply room, you can hear them purple, so yeah.